Good day. Welcome to another session. Hi, I'm Ali Meridon and I'll be the instructor for this session. In today's lesson, we shall be treating congruent angles. So here's the content. The content ranges from what make angles congruent, properties of congruent triangles, and triangle congruency theorem. What make angles congruent? So if I may ask, what are congruent angles? Two angles are congruent as long as the angles are the same. So that's it. That's the basics. Two angles are congruent as long as the angles are the same. So congruent angles have the same angles. You know, in our previous class, in our uh, previous class in trigonometry, we made mention of uh, of how angles are measured. We made we made ourselves to understand that angles are measured in degrees and in radians. So both are units of uh, or that both are units of measure for angles. So congruent angles have the same angles, either they are in degree or they are in radians. Okay. So considering this, the symbol of congruency is this, as you can see on the screen. Is this it is not equal to, it is not equivalent to. So it is called congruency, as you can see. It's just like a stylish S on top. So it is called congruency. It is not equal to, it is not equivalent to. And you should recall the symbol for an angle. And the symbol for an angle is this. So the statement here is really has the angle. ABC is congruent to the angle PQ has. I can see, as you can see, can you see the statement that the angle ABC is congruent to angle PQ has? Okay, hope you understand. Okay, so angles are uh, angles are congruent as long as the angles are the same. They don't have to point to the same direction. They don't have to be made of the same line. It's not necessary that the length will be the same. It's not necessary that they, they will be pointing to the same direction. So it's like considering this figure one, the diagram in this figure, I need figure one. You can see one is like the G is like it's pointing upward, while the S is like it's pointing downward. They are not the same, but yet G and S are congruent, as you can see. They are congruent. So you can see this angle G here is 42 and here is also 42. So which means the angle G and S are congruent. So you can see they are not pointing to the same direction. So it is not necessary that they point to the same direction or they have the same length. Hope you understand. Okay. You can see this figure two. This figure two here we have two triangles. We have triangle R S T and we have triangle Y W X. Okay. So angle S and angle W in triangle uh angle S in triangle R S T and angle W in triangle Y W X are the same. That is, they are congruent. As you can see, they are both marked by short lines, two short lines. As you can see, this W and uh, S and W, they are, both, they are both marked by these two short lines, which means, which means that angle S and angle W are congruent. Also, angle R and angle X are also congruent. X and R are also congruent. Angle R in triangle uh, R, S, C, and angle X in triangle W, uh, X, Y. They are congruent. As we can see, they are both marked by a short line. Okay, hope you understand. Okay, so we can see these two, the line, this line R, S in triangle R, S, C is also equals to line X, W, or W, X in triangle Y, W, X. They are equal. So line R, X is equal to line X, W. So as you can see, they are both marked by three short lines. So this is how you know congruency. This is how you know if two triangles are congruent or not. So don't worry, we, we in our next class, we will explain more on how you would know uh, congruent triangles. So what are the properties of congruent triangles? Just like we have said, that uh, if two triangles are congruent, then each part of the triangle, in that is the side, either the side or the angles, is congruent to the corresponding part of the under triangle. As you can see, as we had explained in the previous slide here, as you can see here, so the line RS, you can see this line RS is 
equals to this line x w we understand so that's all we are saying here so in addition so if two angles or if two triangles are congruent if two triangles are congruent then um the triangles are the same so such as such as the area the perimeter the location of centers of the south of the triangle so we should note these two so let's move to triangle congruency theorem triangle congruency theorem so if two triangles are congruent they have the same shape and size so more specifically corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent we refer to this as cpcts that is the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent what are we seeing here consider let's consider these two triangles triangle abc and triangle def we are given triangle abc and, and uh, triangle def triangle abc is congruent to triangle def so we should note that the order of the letters is very very important please the order of the letter is very very important so the vertices should correspond to each other i hope you understand so the vertices are the vertices should correspond to each other as we can see here this angle a is equal to this angle d you can see it's denoted by these three just like these three lines a and d the triangle a the angle a in triangle b a c and uh, the angle d in triangle e d f that is the same b is also also is equal to this e b and e are equal c and f are also equal i hope you understand the line a b is equal to line d e and the line b c is equal to line e f the line d f is equal to line a c as you can see the line b c is um let's say denoted with a short line uh, with a, just a line as you can see and e f also is denoted with just a line line a b we have two lines line d e you have three lines line a c you have three lines line d f we have three lines i hope you now understand okay in summary we made ourselves to understand that congruent angles have the same angles either they are in degrees or regions both are uh, both as you need to measure of angles and we know the symbols the congruency symbol we made ourselves to understand that this is not equal to and it is not equivalent to so if you want to write congruency that this particular triangle is equal to this but is congruent of another particular triangle you should not write equals to you should not write equivalent to so this is the symbol for congruence for congruency I hope you understand so we made ourselves understand that if two triangles are congruent and they have the same shape and size so that most specifically the corresponding path of congruent triangles are congruent you should always note the, the corresponding path of congruent triangles are congruent so we refer to this as cpcth so you should note this so don't worry in our next class we expand more um we expand the congruent angles more and we give more explanation with more detailed examples i hope you've gone you've gained one or two things from today's lesson so if you have any question you can contact us through this mail thanks so much god bless